Hello, Wizard of West LA here. Today I would like to do a simple video about how to install the Arduino software on the Mac. So basically, you start with your Mac, and this is easy to do, just like all the other operating systems. It's, it's rather simple. I'm going to use Safari. You can use any other browser that you wish. I'm going to use Safari, so I'm clicking on Safari, and what you do is you type www arduino.cc as you can see on the screen arduino.cc hit the enter key and we are on the website this is the uh, the official website for arduino click on software and then you go down to where it says download the arduino ide and the uh, the IDE is right here for different uh, systems. You have Windows, uh, Mac OS, Linux, and all different systems. So we're going to download using Mac OS. Okay, and then you can choose to donate whatever you want to do. I have donated many times. It's a, it's a great system and it's really, really fun to learn. So I'm going to just download. Okay, and then the little, you saw that little symbol go across here so then what you do i'm clicking here and you can see the download so the download is happening as you can see this version these versions change this is 1.8.5 they do update a lot which is good so it's about 150 meg about 150 160 the new version you download may be a little more or maybe a little less so that will vary but this is remember this is version 1.8.5 and feel free definitely to put in the comment section below if you know of new versions that exist and different features so I can add another video with the different features. As you can see, I've just, well, they've had it for a while. At the beginning of the, web, the website, you can see where it says you can program it online. That is pretty useful. I like that. So I will be putting up a video on that also. So this is almost done downloading. Okay. There we go. Okay. Decompressing. So like I say, the size will change periodically as they do different versions. I actually uh, downloaded uh, years ago, you know, I, I just said Arduino. It didn't even say 1.0. It was an old programming software. So on the Mac, you just double, double click this. Just double click it. And there it is. And this, you'll get a, a message if you, if you have the um, security set, which I do. You can just open it. And there we go. I'm going to minimize uh, Safari in the background so you can see what this is doing. It says installing packages. This is really, really fun program to use. And before the end of this video, I'm going to show you something that, that you should do. So here we go. So it installed and, and uh, everything worked out fine. And the next video, I'm going, to, I'm going to show you how to write some simple code for the Mac and show you how to light up the onboard LED, which I didn't stress enough on the other on the other installations that pin 13 I will be going through this in a little bit pin 13 is actually described as the onboard LED it's basically it's basically designed so that you don't have to buy any hardware or anything on with the Arduino like resistors and diodes which I will cover in a little bit little LEDs it's basically designed so you can actually see what it does without having to install anything and of course I will be uploading another video that has information on how to install a, uh, these three simple parts to make a LED blink uh, without without using the onboard LED. So this is basically the install. Now what I'm going to do is show you something here. I'm going to go on I'm going I'm going to go back to Safari. When you click here on the downloads, click this little magnifying glass. 
This will show the Arduino, okay? Now this is something really handy. Drag this to the desktop or wherever you want to put all your Arduino uh, programs at, okay? So what I'm going to do is exit out of this. You can do Arduino and quit. And let's try running it from here. I'm, go I'm going to double click this icon. And this should do, yeah, it just runs as it's normally running. There we go. So that is a lot of fun. So I will be posting in a little while a an instructional, uh, an, another instruction on writing your first program using the Mac. It's about the same for all of them. But I just wanted to cover the Mac environment and see, there, we're back to the same thing. I will be back in a little bit. Thank you very much. And remember, keep on learning.